以色列除了在资讯安全科技上领先全球，它其实在能源科技上也是大有作为。这是因为这个国家除了煤油，它也没水，那么周围又都是恨不得要消灭它的敌人，所以为了国家安全，它不得不积极开发新能源。而在新创公司当中，最具传奇性、最受全球关注的是叫做 Better Place 电动车服务的公司。创办人 Agassi 他提出了电动车太贵跟充电太费时的解决方案，也就是把车子跟电池分开来卖，然后消费者依照自己的需求购买车子的里程，有一点像是手机购买通话时间一样。而至于充电 ，Better Place 它是如何让五小时的充电时间变成不到五分钟？我们一起来看看。You、put your foot on the brake, okay, and then just turn it until you see you'll hear a click click. How fast does this go? So this car goes up to about 150 kilometers an hour, but its acceleration time is very very quick. Um, it's so you're basically going, you know, zero to sixty in less than ten、uh, seconds. 从来到以色列的特拉维夫，探索他要如何成为世界上第一个大规模使用电动车的国家。Better Place 正是他的答案。它是全球第一个电动车电池更换网络。That our mission is basically to help break the dependence on oil, and we're looking at electric cars as the mechanism to do that. 作为中东唯一不产油的国家。以色列周边敌国林立，逼着他不得不想办法摆脱对石油的依赖。不同于一般电动车需要好几个小时才能充满电 ，Better Place 直接更换电池，几分钟就可以上路。So how would you run a whole country without oil? Shai Agassi， 他是 Better Place 的创始人，两千零九年登上《时代》杂志的全球百大影响人物，被封为是绿能界的贾伯斯。And affordable is not a forty thousand dollar sedan. Right, that's not something we can finance or buy today. And convenient is not something you drive for an hour and charge for eight. That the answer comes from separating between the car ownership and the battery ownership. Better Place 提出的革命性商业模式，出售电动车的时候，电池归 Better Place 所有，大幅降低车子的售价。车主在依据自己的需求，跟 Better Place 购买各种组合的里程方案，其费用就包括电力、电池使用，还有电池更换，就像我们选择手机的月租费一样。But the crude oil is replaced with a battery, just it doesn't burn. It consumes itself step after step after step. It has 2,000 life cycles these days, and so it's sort of a mini well. We were asked in the past when we bought an electric car to pay for the entire well for the life of the car. Nobody wants to buy a mini well when they buy a car. 电动车没电的时候，电脑会自动搜索最近的电池交换站。这个过程有一点类似洗车，驾驶不需要下车，开进交换站，全自动的系统会将车子底部打开，由自动的机械手臂将旧电池卸下，换上一颗可以续航两百公里的新电池。更换时间一分三十秒，比加满汽油还要快呢。Agassi 两千零七年在世界经济论坛提出 Better Place 的想法，立刻获得以色列总统的青睐，为他拉来一票有钱有影响力的投资者跟合作对象。两千零七年以来，已经成功募得七点五亿美金，成为史上第五大规模的新创公司。Well, but the biggest challenge would be you would need to have enough stations already installed to convince your customers that it's. Right. So right now we have about 40 stations in the final phases of、uh, construction, and yes, in, in in Israel, in Israel, across. It takes about 40 to cover the country. 国土面积台湾四分之三，人口七百多万的以色列，只需要四十个电池交换站就可以覆盖全国电动车的服务网络。以色列政府还祭出了非常手段：传统汽车征收百分之七十八的关税，但电动车只要百分之十。而另一个减碳比以色列更积极的国家是丹麦，也跟 Better Place 合作，已经完成了电池交换站的网络建设。And Denmark set this beautiful policy. It's called the IQ test. It's inversely proportional to taxes. They put 180% tax on gasoline cars and zero tax on zero emission cars. So if you want to buy a gasoline car in Denmark, it costs you about 60,000 euros. If you buy our car, it's about 20,000 euros. If you fail the IQ test, they ask you to leave the country. <laughs> 
十四岁的 Agassi 从小就是电脑神童，三十二岁将自创的软体公司以四亿美金卖给软体巨头 s a 接着，三十六岁他决定要改变世界。他从未接触过汽车或者是能源的产业，却以惊人的创意一举结合，颠覆两者。Agassi 他面对的可是世界上最强悍的三大行业：汽车、石油还有电力。能不能改变他们的思维跟利益分配，为石油画上句点，已经引起全球关注。